Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the mean of two fractions without using your calculator. So you need to know how to work out the mean. So the mean is add all the numbers up and divide by how many numbers you've got. So if we've got two fractions, we need to add the two fractions up and then divide the answer by two. So let me show you how to do this then on the two examples. So find the mean of 1 quarter and 5 6. So we need to add the fractions up first of all. So these two fractions have different denominators. So we need to find a common denominator. So if you write down our multiples of 4, we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Write down our multiples of 6, we've got 6, 12, 18, 24 and 30. So the number which goes into both is 12. So that would be our common denominator. So how many times does 4 go into 12? That's 3. So we times this top number by 3. How many times does 6 go into 12? That's 2 times. So we times this number by 2. 5 times 2 is 10. So we can now add these two fractions together. So 3 twelfths add 10 twelfths is 13 twelfths. So we've got an improper fraction because the top's bigger than the bottom. So no need to worry about that. So we now need to just divide this answer by 2 because we're working out the mean. Now since it's a fraction, um, instead of dividing by 2, multiply the fraction by a half and that would be like the easiest method to do okay because dividing by two is the same as times and by a half so if we times this fraction by a half all we need to do is multiply the numerators 13 times 1 is 13 12 times 2 is 24 and that is the mean of the two fractions so let's move on to example 2 then. So we've got to find the mean of 3 twentieths and 5 eighths. So again, we just add the fractions up to begin with. So if we find a common denominator, so if we write down our multiples of 20, write down our multiples of 8, As you can see, 40 is a multiple of 20 and 8. So this is the number to put on the bottom of both fractions. So 20 goes into 42 times, so times this top number by 2, which is 6. 8 goes into 40 five times, so times that number there by 5. 5 fives are 25. So we can now add the fractions together because we have a common denominator. So 25 add 6 is 31. Keep the bottom number the same. So again, we just need to divide the answer by 2. Quickest way is to times that answer by 1 half. So 31 times 1 is 31. 40 times 2 is 80. So 31 eightieths is the mean of 3 twentieths and 5 eighths. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.